So this is the first uh, video in which we are going to talk about external commands. So if you didn't watch the introduction, go and watch it again to have an idea what are we going to have in this uh, series. So basically in this video we are going to talk about setting a new project in Visual Studio and I'm going to talk just a bit about the interface of Visual Studio if this is new for you and then we are going to add the Revit API in, uh, references sorry and then we are going to take a look at I external command which implements this external command that we need to, to implement today and uh, then we are going to set up a manifest.addin file so the important thing is this .addin file and the last thing we're going to set up the debug and the build events properties and then we are going to take a look at Rivet and see if our command is working so basically if you don't know what is an external command if you go to add-ins in Rivet if you don't have any external commands you're not going to find anything but if you do have them you're going to have this panel in here all right and if you click you're going to find your external commands and it's it's sometimes just uh, for the sake of testing you don't need to create a whole panel and tab and all of that to to try something out all right so without further ado let's jump into visual studio so i'm using the 2019 as you can see and i'm going to have to create a new project so i'm just going to set uh, all platforms and type in here class library and make sure you you click on this one .NET framework so i'm going to say next and here i'm going to say my rivet three my rivet add-in all right so you can call it whatever you want and you can set the location in whichever location you want and the solution i'm just going to leave it like this and because i'm using autodesk uh, 2022 i'm using dotnet framework uh, 4.8 all right so i'm going ahead and create this all right so as you can see you might have other uh, other panels opened actually this is all you need this space here to write your code all right and sometimes you need to check the solution explorer in here so this is just like the um, the rivet browser you know uh, where you can browse and take a look at your files like in here okay so you can see schedules and families and everything that you have in your project actually I'm going to close it right now okay and now uh, the first thing that we need to do actually is adding the rivet api references to my code so that after that when i write something using the rivet api it's going to be recognized by uh, by my code all right so i'm just going to add to references and click with the right button add reference and go here to browse if you don't have them in here you you, you can go to browse and go to program files autodesk and find out where are your uh, your files so you need to add this rivet api.dll and also rivet api ui.dll so make sure you are uh, selecting these two and hit ok so now they are added in here as you can see along with other dependencies as system system.core and many things that we can use in our um, in our project and basically also i have in here class which i'm going to use to create my external command so actually if you want you can go to i external command in the rivet api docs and read the definition of this so this is an interface and if you know c sharp you know what is an interface 
So this is an interface that should be implemented to provide the implementation for a Revit add-in external command. So as I showed you before, this is the interface that is going to allow us to create that, uh, that external command. All right, if you need more uh, references, you can go here to, I'm going to leave the links in the description. You have this developer's guide. You can go to introduction, getting started and take a look at these uh, things or you can go to uh, add in integration and take a look at external command and read a bit about this topic if you are interested in uh, further informations all right so now we added the references now we need to say to our code that it's going to implement this i external Command. All right, but it's not recognizing this. So let me go in here and select this using Autodesk Divit.ui, and it's going to add it in here. And the second thing, it's still swiggly uh, down the uh, down the um, down the interface command. I'm going to implement the interface actually, and. The thing with this video is I'm not going to go too much into the code, so I'm just going to copy something that I had ready for this video. All right, so actually I'm just going to use a simple thing. I'm going to remove everything. I don't need any of these. All right, so I'm just going to type hello there. Okay, uh, I think it's ready. So the important thing in here is basically this, this method that we are implementing in here. It's called execute and it should have a return result. And I'm using also a return result dot failed. So here is dot succeeded and here it's dot failed within a try catch statement so if this does not happen this is going to happen so this is just a quick way to handle any any uh, any problems but remember that this is this result should be in here and uh, it should return something so if you just go ahead like this it's not going to happen all right so it should return something and it's returning this result all right, so basically we can go ahead and remove also these these namespaces that I'm not using. So I think this is ready to go. I'm going to save. And now the second thing or the uh, next thing that we need to set is basically the dot add in file. I'm going ahead here, click the right button and go add new item. And I'm going to add application manifest file. And I'm just going to call it manifest.add. And you can call it whatever you want. Dot add in. Going to add and select everything, delete. Just going to copy this into here. So, um, so actually I'm going to try to add this in a comment or in the description under this uh, below this video. So basically what this does is when Rivet fires up, it's going to look in, so one of the things that it go, it's going to check is the add-in um, add file, okay? And we didn't set this uh, yet, so we're going to do it in, in a moment. So in the add-in file, it's going to look for add-ins. So this is an add-in with type. We're not creating an application, we're creating a command. All right. And you can give it you can give it a name, whatever name you want. The important thing is I'm going to pin this in order for you to see. Important thing, do you see this assembly? It should have the same name that we have in here. So actually I'm going to change this one to my rivet add 
in and be careful with the uh, letters so they should be the same as this one in here and also I'm going to copy this really quickly and come in here paste it over it should be the same in here also and the full class name is here is class 1 and here I have program actually it would really make sense if we change this to let's say say hello all right so it's asking me if I want to change the name also in here as you can see it's changed I'm going to save and here also I need to type say hello so be careful again it should be the same as in here okay the other thing that we need to set is basically this add-in ID and we can do this really quickly here in tools create GUID and hit new GUID and just copy this close and paste it over this one and we need to remove these parentheses and all of the other stuff around it to do it like this all right and here text is basically the name of our uh, of our external command I'm just going to call it say uh, say hello sorry all right let's put this with capital letter so this this is not uh, really important to have the same name as in your class okay you can type whatever text you want description I'm going to leave it this way you can change the name you can change the description vendor visibility mode I'm setting this to always visible we can also change this one to other uh, options but right now I'm just going to leave it this way so I'm going to save all right so we are done with this uh, or no before we before we finish with this one just click on this and go to properties and copy to output directory I'm going to set this to copy if newer okay so as I said before when my uh, when we file rivet up it's going to look in the add-in file and in the add-in folder sorry and it's going to find all these DLLs all right so it's going to find this one with dot add in this file exactly with dot add in and it's going to read basically this is a command all right and the assembly that is used within this command is this my rivet dot uh, my rivet add in dot dll so it's going to find this library in the same directory and it's going to implement the class name so it's going to fire up this code that we have in here all right so we are done with this let's go back to uh, to here we need now to set to set up the debug and the build events properties so let's go really quickly here click with the right one and go to properties going to start with debug really quickly so I need to fire up rivet whenever I want to debug so how to do this is basically I'm going to start external program and browse I'm going to my program files Autodesk Rivet 2022 and go for the rivet as you can see here exe files all right this is what is going to happen is when I want to debug when I click on the start it's going to fire up rivet and I can see the changes and the things that I'm working on second thing that we need to set is actually this build event and we need to set up this post build uh, event command line and um, going so you're going to find all these in the description box or in the first comment I don't know so I'm just printing this and this is just copying whatever I'm doing here whatever I'm doing in 
the folder where I have all my files, it's going just to copy them to the, as you can see, Revit add-ins 2022. If you have uh, 2019 or 2021, just write the, uh, the correct directory for your case. Okay, so I'm just going to hit Control S and I believe we are ready to go. Uh, great. Okay, so I'm just going to click on start debugging. And it looks like it's going to work. All right, so let me open a new project. And Let's go to add-ins and there you go. So let's click E. All right, so actually I forgot to show this. So task dialog dot show and I'm just going to copy this line in here. So this is uh, the problem when just copying things. So let's just say hello. So uh, this method takes a title and a instruction. We might... Uh, so let's just type this is the title. All right, and this is hello, and there you go. So let me save and apply code changes. Let's go back to Rivet and fire it up again. And there you go, it's working. All right, so basically I don't need this line here. And now if you want to add any, any other commands like this one, you just have to go in here and you, you can either go to new item and select a class from here. You can select the class from here. Or you can go directly and add a class. All right, give it a name. Uh, don't forget to implement this I external command. Don't forget to implement this uh, this method, and of course add the uh, your references and all of that. And also, the thing that you need to do actually is just copy this and print it over, and just change the name and the class that you are implementing to use it, uh, to use many classes, all right? So to use many commands, this is the, uh, the thing that I want to say. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and see you next time.